Hello there. We are gonna do a lot of things. What's new, right? Main point of this video is we are picking up a Walmart grocery haul, but I, now there's something I have to go into Walmart for. Picking up a grocery haul. I'm gonna show you that haul. We're gonna get started on some massive freezer cooking. I am heating up some scrambled eggs that I already had prepped and ready. Look at that, I meal prepped. And I'm making myself a rice bowl real quick. Back to the scrambled eggs. That's for a kiddo who's not feeling super right now, but they can eat some, some eggs. And I'm making my rice bowl, but I'm gonna take that with me and eat it as we go. I have a phone call coming up, so I'm just gonna kinda eat on the way to Walmart. Thank you for listening to my mega mama to-do list. Eat on the way to Walmart take my phone call, which will take about an hour in the parking lot of Walmart. Something else new in my new weird life world is I have to be on top of my own oil changes and such. And so with my vehicle, I looked at the sticker the other day and I'm like 4,000 miles past the time it needed to be changed. So I'm rocking life right now. <laughs> so anyway, I was able to use my Walmart app and set up an oil change and it just so happened to be the same time I need to be there to pick up my freezer cooking pickup order. And that order is going to be to do a bunch of massive breakfast freezer meals because teenagers, I mean, but even the six year old, but teenagers and teenage boys. I do have two adult sons, so it's not like it's my first teenage rodeo. I just have a lot of teenagers Four of my seven minor children at home are teens, and those two teen boys, it's just like, I don't know, how many bagel sandwiches can you eat at one time? <laughs> I really need to get a bunch of breakfast freezer meals going. Every time I do a breakfast freezer meal video, like, they rip through those. I'm even planning whatever we do end up making this afternoon. I'm going to also multi-purpose and it'll be for dinner. So right now I'm kind of thinking like sheet pan pancakes cause that was on my list and maybe some muffins. Got a bunch of fruit we'll throw with it. Stick with me, we'll see. That's my little poem, <laughs> a little, little poem and rhyme right now. So we're gonna go thankfully to the Walmart, get some things done. Let's do all these things. So anyway, I have been living off of these rice bowls. Of course, I'm using the quinoa and um, was it rice blend that I am continuing to stock up on Sharp Shopper. And then in another video I did recently, who knows where in my YouTube universe that comes will come out at, but I had a couple pounds of ground beef extra I had cooked and prepped. I was gonna get it in the freezer just to dump it in, you know, some recipe when I needed it. But instead, I've been using maybe half a pound or so every time, and I've been doing it in my rice bowls. And then I also put a little bit of Greek yogurt in there. And so, if you're following my Trim Healthy Mama journey, which hey, I'm down another pound. I'm excited, or I guess it's actually two pounds, but it wasn't quick. My weight loss slow and steady, two pounds over three or four weeks. But I like looking at the scale. It encourages me. It gives me happy things to think about. So I went from 156, it's now reading 154, and it'll kind of do that little fluctuating a little bit, and that's all good. So anyway, for Trim Healthy Mama, this would be a THM e-meal. The ground beef is rinsed. That's because with an email, say it with me friends, it's anchored in protein. So you have your protein and it is lower fat and like medium healthy carbs. So that's why we've got the rice and such in here. And of course the Greek yogurt has some healthy carbs and some fat, but we only have a little bit. So with the emails, hope your eyes aren't glazing over, but so many of you have asked me about this. You're trying to keep your fats at five grams and the medium healthy carbs up to about 45. And if it's an S meal, mm -hmm, you're trying to keep your carbs no higher than 10 and then you have your healthy fats just within limits. Like you don't wanna use a whole stick of butter or I guess seven cups of cheese, which you know I do that. So anywho, I'm gonna eat this, but I'm gonna eat with a spoon on the way to Walmart. Let's go. Did I show you all the shutters yet? I don't think I did. This needs to be like a whole video. By the way, the shutters are on the house. They look fantastic. I just wanna show you the sunshine. <laughs> sunshine, time change, happiness. My uh, landscapers that are gonna do my mowing for me now, 
and boy, such a blessing on that deal. But anyway, they're gonna do mulch there. And, okay, let's just go over and look at the garden. Um, well, we have, we have weeds. They're gonna take care of those for me. But we have our little springy grass coming up. We also have a rotten pumpkin. But we also have our little spring bulbs coming up. And I see tulips down there. Oh, lots of tulips. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> so many, so many. Look at all the tulips coming. This is like happiness in life. And a bunch of daffodils. I transplanted, well, no, the kids transplanted those for me um, for Mother's Day at some point. That boxwood's doing its thing. And then we have all the periwinkle. So anyway, we have to take our joy and find our happiness where we can. And those things make my heart happy. And sunshine always makes my heart happy. And I got to run last night, which is great. I did 3.36 miles. Today is not a running day, but I will be standing and cooking. But tomorrow I'll get to go to my personal trainer and work with her for an hour. We're doing all kinds of strength training, which is phenomenal what I'm learning from her. I also get to run and I get to do the sauna. S sauna, yeah, sauna. And all those good self-care things. See how that rice bowl is gonna handle life. My Walmart order was saying that some things were not available, but I'm trying to see so far, so far, so far, so far. Oh, my Ziploc bags. Oh, only one of them. Okay, we can deal with that. Cause again, freezer cooking, I need them. We can handle that. That's, that's a good thing. I've still got three big bags of them and there were 60 bags each. I just, we go through them, I like to stay stocked up. Okay, so I got the news passed down to me this morning that we are out of conditioner and I have a lot of curly-headed kids and a certain conditioner that they all like and I gotta get 20 bottles of it. And it is usually just the suave, some kind of, any kind of suave conditioner. Okay, they got some over there. And it'll be any scent they have, but they really like the pink. And I have tried to buy all the curly-headed, proper curly girl products and stuff, but this is what they like, so that is fine. Just gonna make sure I get the conditioner, not the shampoo. Especially with the coconut, because they look similar, but that says shampoo. Get my arm back there. these and it is a new season but we shall resist for today we're gonna do our big flower bulb shopping at Costco but I still like to visit okay I need 56 bottles of ketchup for my 57 children So my car is not doing this oil change and Walmart has so many clothes marked down. Like this little pantsuit thing is $11 from $16.98. So I'm trying a bunch of stuff on and I'm not sure on my size because this is like the junior section. So we're gonna try some things on. I might show you something. I don't know, let's see what happens. Okay, so this is wild. Um, so this is from the junior section. It ties in the back. I don't necessarily think I would wear these black leggings and cowgirl boots with it, but then again, I might, but I had these on with my, my dress I had on today. But I'm wearing a dress for the junior section. I don't know, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm gonna try these different ones on. Yay. Okay, I like it and I don't know. I don't know how to hold 
this vlogging camera with this mirror because you know I don't usually, I'm not usually a fashion vlogger, but I am a mom getting clothes in Walmart and again, did I tell you this was a junior's dress? It's a junior's dress, yay! And so, yeah, it's got leggings and cowgirl boots, but then again, uh, maybe I'll wear it like that. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited that they have cute dresses and I can wear them. Thank you, Walmart. Okay, and so now we have a long dress and it was a spaghetti strap, but they had these little half shirts. And I'm gonna also try to wear that with um, this little pantsuit they got on sale for $11. See how that goes, but I do like this one also. These were all filth and trash, so these four, no, and I'm not showing them. <laughs> I don't know, might be $11 good. I'm thinking for church. I don't think I'd do freezer cooking in it, but I do freezer cooking in the dresses. What, $11? Might try it out. Alrighty, and now we are back how we came in here. I got this dress off of Amazon at some point last fall. Didn't like it until the spring. So now I might get it in another color. But also, we got some nice Walmart dresses today. And the whole effect, of course, the cowgirl boots. Yay. Okay, first little Walmart haul done. Alrighty, so that's what the back of my vehicle looks like right now. We got seats down in the middle. Definitely not a large family, 15 passenger van. I don't think I'd shared with y'all, but my van, like engine, transmission, just all kinds of things have went wrong with that van. So this vehicle seats eight though, and that's what I need, but it is difficult for like grocery pickups and stuff. I do plan to get another van, but I just have to put brain cells into shopping for one. And so this is what we're doing. But anyway, we'll see probably this whole thing filled up with this order. Okay. So all the groceries and my little passenger friends and I've been out several hours longer than I expected. Besides my one phone call meeting, I had some other phone calls this afternoon after the oil change. It's always funny because like you wouldn't know in the video, but I feel like you would know by my energy and just my countenance all over is, uh, you know, it's morning and now it's afternoon. <laughs> Alrighty, we made it back. You see the table is full. This is three quarters big batch, massive, super mega teenager edition breakfast freezer meals. Grocery haul. Let me show you exactly every little thing that I got and so much more. And also, yes, let's buy our clothes where we get our groceries. I mean, that's what we do for real, right? And so many of these. Okay. Lots of cute ones. Do we start with clothing? That's not a freezer cooking grocery haul. I was just excited that Walmart had some nice spring dresses out already. So let me just lay them on this chair real quick and we'll get going. Alrighty, so at this end of the table, my kiddos have some things that they need to take some snacks for. So yes, we love our Sharp Shopper snacks but I don't have a sharp shopper three minutes away. I will get back there hopefully next week. But for now, I got two packs of granola bars, two of these 24 pouches of applesauce, and this little 30 pack of goldfish on the go. So this is just some of the random stuff. Uh, also a million bottles of hair conditioner. You saw me buy that, we'll get back to that. Not related to the freezer cooking. I guess let's do that. Let me show you everything not related to the freezer cooking really quick. Okay, so we have those. We have these dresses that I tried on, except this one I didn't try on, but it was the size of these two and these fit well, so I got that also. And I don't think I showed me getting, but I got two pairs of the capris, and um, yeah, I got them in two different jean color, and so happy spring. And then on down here, we have some happy afternoon popsicles and those little mini brownie bites. So everybody's been having those. And then we also have one sore throat in the house. I have all kinds of little tinctures and fun adventures I give out with that. But I also got some vitamin C drops that that human wanted. Some makeup remover um, wipes there. And then our 10 bottles of conditioner and then some of this sleek and shine leave-in conditioner. Two fresh little flags because tis the season. And then I got this window bird feeder and my six-year-old was already so excited. He's never seen one of these before. And he was just, I'm, I'm excited. I saw um, our friend Bree on Bree from Scratch had, 
thought she had one of these in her kitchen. Maybe it was a bigger one. I don't remember, but I remember seeing it and thinking, oh, yes, I've always wanted to get one of those. And I feel like that was even two months ago that I saw that. But today it came to pass. Oh, and then I guess other things not related to the freezer cooking is yogurt, some yogurt, and the chocolate milk. But now this milk uh, I got with freezer cooking in mind. We do have some milk in the house, probably four to six gallons, but we roll through it quickly. But anyway, so I knew when I was doing big batch cooking, I need milk for cooking. Kids need chocolate milk because of life. And so on to the freezer cooking goodies, and I will give you uh, an idea on how much just the freezer cooking part of this haul was. Uh, but for those like omelet to go cups that I do, I got these peppers, I do have onions, and then I have, we've got shredded cheese that can also go in there. We got this sliced Colby because I have some English muffin sandwiches and bagel sandwiches I'm going to do. So I got those for that. I got applesauce because I'm going to do a whole, I'm doing so many mega dozens of applesauce muffins because those are always a hit and I need a lot of applesauce for it and it may give us a little bit of applesauce left. I got three packs of the sausages to go on different breakfast sandwiches. I got one million, haha, ha, I got... Let's see how many to get. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten onion bagels and ten plain bagels. I think that's ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. And so those are for the bagel sandwiches. And then we have the English muffins that are for the English muffin breakfast sandwiches. And then all of this bread is for so mega much French toast. And then all of these burritos are for so, I believe I got 10, 10 or 12 of these, and there's eight in each one. So 80 to 100 plus variety of breakfast burritos. I got the flour for muffins and sheet pan pancakes. I got some chocolate chips. I was thinking I might have just a little bit of those Azure chocolate chips that I got last spring when I lived a different life. <laughs> so I may have some left, but just in case, I mean, we'll use those. I'm also going to do pumpkin chocolate chip muffins. Do I still say that? Pumpkin, okay. I have a bunch of canned pumpkin. My brain is broke now on how to even say that correctly. I think the internet has corrected me so much. Am I saying it right now? Who knows? Who could even know it? Anyway, I'm gonna do a bunch of those muffins as well, and I have the pumpkin puree, yay. And so these apples are actually just for eating as well. The bananas, I do have, I have a bowl of bananas looking at me, and I'm not gonna actually do the bulk of the cooking with the bananas for another two days, so that means, sorry, I'm, my hand is itchy and I'm holding my camera. That's what the side of all-purpose flour bags are for. Um, so anyway, those bananas should be more where I would like them to be in a couple days when I circle back to doing the bulk of this mega cooking. And then the other things I got, we were out of ketchup, so I got six big things of ketchup because ketchup is life with a lot of kids and folks and things. And so here's how this grocery haul is looking. All right, friends, I've tried to gather our supplies. We do need the Mega Mama Bowl, though. And we're doing champagne chocolate chip pancakes for dinner. I did get some things ready while I had noisy people in and out doing all the things. So I have, this is half a cup of baking powder, a cup of sugar. We're gonna do two and a half tablespoons of salt. It'll end up being 12 cups of milk. I will link the recipe for you down below. It's really precious because it's got just some of my, my kids smaller at the forest house whenever I first shared this with you all. Okay, so we're gonna do our flour and our baking soda in here. Baking powder, and this is a 
whole lot. Now, whenever I did this recipe, how it's written out in the blog, I was using several of these larger sheet pan sizes. Um, I don't remember now if that's a full sheet and those are half sheets, or if this is a half sheet, those are quarter sheets. I was up on my sheet pan math and how it worked, and I don't remember now. I just know I use them all the time. So we're just going to fill as many as we can fill. So it's 12 cups of flour, a cup of sugar, and then it's going to be 12 cups of milk and 12 eggs. Hey. Who needs an apron? Haha, uh -huh. I do. And very last, we're going to sprinkle the tops with our chocolate chips. because these can be cut into squares and saved. They're fantastic like that. And then just such a quick reheat for the morning or any time you sheet pan pancake in your life. Let's see how many do we just do? One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna walk and chew gum at the same time, six, seven. But I'm going to make a big batch tonight. We're gonna have them for dinner and then we'll also have them available tomorrow. If I have any left, come back on Saturday and see if I do more sheet pan pancakes for the freezer and how it all worked out. But I have so many wonderful meals that we are gonna do. And at least today we got the shopping done, we got the oil change, we got phone calls done, got lots of things done that needed to happen. And we're ending the day at least with homemade sheet pan pancakes that will make folks happy. stash is getting pretty low. Always something to stock up on. Today we did conditioner and ketchup. I'm going to need some more parchment paper. Okay. It's probably a little over full, but I am who I am. Okay, so, and this, these are actually the last of the Azure chocolate chips here. Some of them are stuck to the bottom of this container, but we had several of them. So,
and you can do berries you can do all kinds of different toppings whatever you would like oh i just lost a few on the floor but no one here is going to mind chocolate chips Right, so here's how our sheet pans look. Alrighty, so we're gonna put these in the oven at 425 now. said in the original recipe to check it at 10 minutes and switch the pans out. I'll go look again. The recipe is over on largefromthetable.com. It'll be linked below. I followed my exact recipe exactly how I had it written out. So that recipe will make these four big sheet pans full. If you need four big sheet pans of chocolate chip sheet pan pancakes, follow that recipe because that's what you're going to get. Yay. Okay. We have some other mixing going on, which is fun. These are cooking up beautifully, and I am going to switch them from the bottom to the top here. Okay, so here is the biggest sheet pan all cut up and we are going to put butter on top of these and syrup and yay, happy dinner. So I feel like, this is mom guilt coming in, I feel like there needs to be like scrambled eggs beside this or something else, but my brain didn't go there and here we are. So we also have fruit that can go along with it and that's as good as it's gonna get tonight. There's another one. We did it, we did the shopping, we did the things, we processed the things, we made the sheet pan pancakes. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. Again, the sheet pan pancake recipe will be linked down in the description below. We will be doing this freezer cooking in the very next video. I'm doing it day after tomorrow and I'll see you real soon with a brand new video. Come back and watch the massive freezer cooking to try to feed all these teenagers, yay.